Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about functions in Ruby. So um, a function is declared in Ruby using the def keyword, which is similar to how you, would in, uh, how you would declare a function in Python. And then you give your function a name. So let's call this function double. And then to end a function in Ruby, uh, there are no curly brackets and you don't follow indentation rules. Uh, you actually use the end keyword. So uh, this is the function um, boundary. So it starts here and it ends here. And now we can pass in some parameter and our function will return uh, x multiplied by itself. So the function stops once you hit once it once it hits the return uh, keyword and it'll return this value. So now to call the function we can actually use the parentheses just like we did here and then pass in some number like 6. So now we should get 6 times 6 which is 36. Uh, you can also uh, pass values to a function uh, without the parentheses and just do it the following way. And we get the same answer. So we're double 4 is 4, 16. Uh, so now if we want to take two parameters, x, y, let's call this function mult. So it'll multiply 4 and 6. So here, multiply x and y and you return x times y. And we run your code and we get 24. So this is a really simple way to use a function and pass parameters to a function in uh, Ruby. Another interesting thing about Ruby is that you don't have to specify the number of parameters. You can actually do something like asterisk x. And now it, uh, x is treated as an array. So now within here, you can return x of 0 times x of 1. And so now you can treat this as a a list of um, parameters. So you can pass in something like 3 and 6 and it returns 3 times 6. So here you would actually write a loop to loop through the length of x but I'm actually just manually writing it out. So 0 times 1 times 2 so now we pass in uh, 3 parameters. So 3 times 6 times 5 and we get 90. So this asterisk, asterisk um, x is a really interesting feature of uh, Ruby that you don't have to specify the number of parameters. Uh, so let's write a really simple function to take an array, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and pass this array into a function, and we want to get a result of each number multiplied by itself. So 1, 4, 9, and 16. So we want to multiply every number in the array. So this is, we want to write a really basic function for this. So let's call it doubling. We get an array, end. So what we want to do is loop through the array, the original array, multiply each number, each element in the array by itself and store that result in a new array. So we'll create a new um, a new variable and we'll store the final array there. So answer equals a blank array and now we're going to loop through each array. So for actually we'll do it uh, array each do element. And now we end this statement and now what we'll do is answer push e times e so we multiply each element in the array by itself and then we return answer so now we take this array and call doubling on this array Oops we get 1, 4, 9, and 16. So it took this array, and for each element, so we'll get to um, looping in the next tutorial, uh, some basic loops, but here we use a really simple one, the each function. So for each for each element in the array, we want to um, push the element multiplied by itself into this new array answer, and then we finally return answer. And so you can even return something like... Um, so here you can return answer. So for example, if we wanted to multiply all the numbers by, them, by themselves, but we only wanted to get a specific element from the array, we can pass in another value. So we'll say zero. We only want the first number in the array, the zeroth index. So array and then index. And we'll return answer index. So here we should get one because we're getting the first answer from the array. And taking a bit, we get 1. We can also do something like 3, so we get the third element, so 0, 1, 2, 3, so we should get 4. 
So if we run the code, we get, oh, we get 16. We get the four multiplied by itself, which is 16. And we get 16. So, so yeah, so this is a really basic function in Ruby.